and this is Fred. We are from Dido TV. So today we have two guests with us. So can you introduce them? So we got Said and Hazi. Hello guys. Hello guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do today is we going to review flavors from Peach Tone E Juice. All right. So we got lineup over here. We got fruities and creamy as well. Okay. So we're going to start with. We're going to start first with the perfume. And next is fusion mango, sparkling grape, pinky strawberry. Mm, this is Volare, Violamos, Tito, Tito Puente. Is it Tito Puente? Yes, right. Tito Puente. <laughs> I've got someone to correct me if I'm wrong. Sinatra. Right? Last but not least, Sinatra. So we're gonna try. We're gonna ha we're gonna have sight try. The deep perfume, All right side. All right, okay. Have the first privilege to try it. Okay. All right, guys. Today we're going to try the flavors. Um, this is using a Rizmac Rillo on this. Uh, what is it again? The official coil art, uh, Azroth RDTA, fresh new cotton, twenty four gauge, seven wraps. So it comes out about zero point two. Right. Let's try this out. So Isaac, you want to try the fusion mango? Ah, oh, sure. So how about you? Are you going to try? I'm going to try the sparkling grape. All right, guys. So I will be the one that talking to you about this really nice box. I mean, as you can see the lineup, they come with a design. This is who they are. They show everything is here. Let me check for you. We have identical bottle, sorry, bottle, and also the box itself. It comes with a really uh, complete packaging. <laughs> And even, they even write the manufacturing date. This is the first flavors that I received with a manufacturing date on the box itself. I mean, it is naturally fresh, as you can yeah, see yeah. for the food industry. We can really look at their manufacturing date on the bottle, so on the least, product itself. So at least people know when, when the flavors are manufactured. So they know how what's the age of the flavors itself. So it is really really good, alright? So the information is really complete with PGVG. So alright, so what's the base of the flavor? So the base um the perfume is basically um, I think it's uh it doesn't state it here. Okay. The, mm, yeah. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. It hasn't it's stated that this the deep perfume. I'm not sure what deep perfume is. So what what's the taste basically? Taste. I feel like it's like a very much uh, light, very chill drink. A little bit of like a sweetness and a sourness. Uh, on the inhale, I get a very sweet note to a very. Uh, in the middle, there's a bit of a minty kickback, and on the exhale, a little bit of sourness over there. It's it's pretty decent. It's really nice. Yeah. If you're looking for an all-day vape, I think this would go. As the name is the perfume, I mean, it could be a hint for a perfume, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. I never right. tried perfume before. <laughs> Have you? Uh, <laughs> Have you? <laughs> well, you know, when you're walking through the, the mall, yes. and then, you know, when you start going out, uh, giving out testers, and you just accidentally, you know, you reach <laughs> in, so I guess you could say I've tried before. <laughs> okay, Isaac, how's the, right, the uh, fusion mango? The fusion mango. Yeah. Yeah. Fusion mango turns out uh, good to me. Mm -hmm. uh, you can try the picky strawberry next. Alright, for the for the fusion mango, uh, I can see that the mango is quite strong and it's very good. And when you inhale, uh, you can feel the mango like uh, trusting your throat. And then when you exhale it, you can feel uh, you can feel that. <coughs> The, the taste and the mean I I see it like uh, cooling your throat a bit not so cold so the, the mango is so the mango and everything yeah, right everything yeah okay so I got here is sparkling grape how's the taste okay when you inhale when you inhale we can taste the grape and you exhale um. You can taste the, the, the cooling sensation. It's really, really fresh for sparkling grape. Okay, but 
when you say sparkling grape, uh, I'm trying to find uh, where's the soda in it. I think. I think there's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But it, there's a little bit of sparkling here, but I think it's good. So the taste is really good. Uh, the sweet is really balanced with the taste of grape. So sparkling is good, right? So okay. how's the summary? Alright, so now we'll have a look at the pinky strawberry. So it's supposed to be based on like a, a very casual drink uh, of like, I don't know, a, like a fizzy strawberry. It's, I think it's, this one uh, really kicks me a little bit. It, it, I think it's really good because, uh, you know, if you like strawberries and a little bit of fizz in your drinks and a little bit like candy taste, it really tastes like that. So it's, it, it tastes like a fizzy strawberry drink. Like a fizzy strawberry drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're into that, go for this. This is good stuff. So what I got here is Balamos. Alright? Balamos. I'm not sure. It's, it's a creamy series from Peach Stone. So starting this, I'm not sure what this is. This is the first time I'm going to try it. Okay. So the taste uh, that will make you dance. Mm, Definitely. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, you can read the description there. Eh? Okay, you can't be about fancy description. I'm not really good with the fancy description, but let me read that. Under a radiant sky, no present for you. An astonish hmm. an astonishing blend of orange cream. Ah, it's, yes. it's orange cream. With a perfect hint of coconut that brightens your day. This bubbly profile would leave behind an unforgettable experience of satisfaction. So orange cream and yeah, I can actually yeah, yeah. smell the orange. Okay, so the okay. balamos, the balamos is uh, orange. You can taste the orange when you inhale. When you exhale, you taste the coconut. Really, really good. So the taste of orange and coconut is there. All right. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, let me get for Hazi Volare. Yeah, it's Volare. He asked me to read this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out of impromptu, we proudly present to you an eminent taste of root beer with a complement hint of lime that would spark your day with every puff. Let this unique masterpiece linger in your mouth. And enjoy a wonderful exhale. So, yeah. how was it? How do you find the root beer the, lime? The root beer. Uh, you can you can taste the root beer so once you inhale, and then the lime is on the exhale, and it leaves you a unique, a very unique taste. Uh, but seriously, I don't very like it too much because. Uh, it left a taste like bitter. No, not bitter. Uh, it's like how to say this. Uh, very, very unique. But then I don't like the, the taste. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Okay, cause you see it, I'm gonna try this. What are you, right? Okay, you can try the Sinatra. Oh. Yeah, you can go on and try it natural while so you'll be trying to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Would you mind reading the base of the flavor but I can predict what it already is? Yeah. <coughs> I bet it's based on yam. Okay. <coughs> and a dreamy fine day, we proudly present to you this special blend of rich coconut taste that would linger in your mouth <laughs> with complement of fresh and juicy pineapple with a surprise of cinnamon danish that leaves a great aftertaste till your next continuous puff. Uh, see, whatever Anne explained, it's a very complex uh, mix, which is great. I really like complex flavors, but the output on what is described, I'm getting more of a yam, you know, so it's very surprising, but I am a sucker for yam, I gotta say. You know, if you like yam, <laughs> this is good stuff, man. You know, if they tell you it's coconut and whatever else, <coughs> no, it's yam. You tell them it's yam. But it's, it's good, you know? this, this is like, this is amazing. This is a really good yam flavor. <laughs> okay, I think, I think I get what you mean. Yep. Um, I tried root beer, lots of root beers. Um, what I'm expecting from root beers is basically you need to uh, have the cool taste of root beer. Right, the, 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 the really chilling taste of root beer, 
but I think um, that's why they put lime on it. So, so it would it would be taste like root beer and a bit hint of lime. I see. Okay, so but it's still I don't feel the freshness of the root beer basically. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I do agree with you. Yeah. It's not that I don't like it. You can taste the root beer, but still need a bit of freshness in the root beer. All right, guys. So how's the Sinatra? Okay, let me read that. Behold a perfect combination of mellow chocolate signature which smoothly blends with jolly strawberry hint for and taste with wood spark your day. Well, mellow chocolate and jolly strawberry. This one is very nice. So, okay. Because of chocolate. Like City, 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 no <laughs> I'm gonna, you can taste the chocolate. Try, I'm gonna try it because of chocolate. Okay. Yeah, because everybody loves chocolate, right? Yeah. Uh, smoky, yeah. Everybody is like chocolate. Yeah, really. Everybody <laughs> likes chocolate. <laughs> Especially me, because I'm the only woman here. Yep, you can taste the chocolate. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's a really, really light uh, chocolate. Right? It's really, really like chocolate. What do you think is like? Chocolate. Which one is it? Sorry? The, the Sinatra. 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 Would you mind if I try it? Yep. Alright. Let's have a go. So this is chocolate and? Yep. Chocolate and? Sorry. What is it? This would be... Um, jolly strawberry. Oh yeah. Ah, strawberry. Chocolate strawberry. And chocolate. Yeah. Strawberry strawberry. It's like a... A green. It's yeah. strawberry chocolate. On the inhale, I'm getting a hint of chocolate, you know, not that much, but on the exhale, the strawberry just explodes in your mouth. So if, if you like that, you know, if you had a childhood of having strawberry and chocolate in whatever form, you know, it could be a candy, it could be a bar, this is good. This is yes, good yes. stuff. It could be one of the Siti no Hanisla, Siti no Hanisla, favorite food. Yeah, strawberry and chocolate. That's a good one. She's really obsessed with Siti no Hanisla, I don't know why. It's Sinatra, not Siti no Hanisla. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And the it's Sinatra. Siti no Hanisla. It's so Sinatra. Right? Okay. So the Probably they got the name because of Siti no Hanisla. No, it's no. Sinatra. <laughs> it's Sinatra. It's based in here. Okay, if, if you put it in a year, Sinatra born first than Siti no Hanisla, of course. <laughs> Because I love Siti Hanisa, probably does it. Do you even know who Sinatra is? Okay, I didn't know. That's why. <laughs> See, that's, so why. The that's why. That's why. The for the flavor is that if you're a vapor and you really like something with a candy base and chocolate, go for this. This, yeah. this is good stuff. I can say this is Jazzy. All right. Jazz. Okay. Yeah. Is she for Sinatra? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay guys, um, thank you for your reviews and everything. So we're going to move to the, um, how to put this, uh, the rating of the lineup. Okay, we put it, uh, the first lineup, the, the, these four first. Okay, the fruity lineup. What do you think? How many stars would you give them? One out of ten? One, one, one out, out of five. One out of five. Uh, fruity lineup, I would give it maybe about uh, six because... Uh, oh, no. One, 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 one out of five. five. Oh, <laughs> <six> <laughs> <is over. laughs> Are you so No, okay. Um, I'll give it about a three and a half because I feel like some of the flavors, they're really good. They're going to kick in, you know, once it gets into stores. But some flavors, maybe it's just not my palate. It's not my personal favorite. So, you know, you, you got to try them all So because you're in for a surprise. All right. So how about Isaac? What do you think about this? Okay, for me, I will get... Uh, I can give four. Four stars. Yeah, four All right. Stars. So how's it give them four stars? Four stars, guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, mine's like you know, if it's upside down, it's a frown. If it's you know like this, it's a smile. So mine's about half. <laughs> yeah. so I don't like the taste of the was was it uh the water thing. No, 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 no that is not the line. Oh, okay. Okay, so, okay, Max is this line up. So they got three creamies and one uh, fruity for the. Root beer. It's not. Fruit, it's not fruity. It's the root beer. Say so what do you guys think? How many stars will you give them? Okay. For the root beer. Okay. okay. I'm gonna say do that. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do you think about the creamy lineup? Right. How oh, about say? Okay. okay. Has it? Okay. Firstly, I would recommend you guys this. Okay. Can I try? Very good. And then. Oh, the top. 
What I think about their creamy series is that uh, you know it could be a little bit on and off for some people because let's uh, let's take uh, let's take back about the Tito Puente. You know the description is a lot of things, but at the end the result is a different thing. So you're in for a surprise, but it's up to you to accept whether in a good way or a bad way. But uh, on all three, I would give about maybe uh, two and a half stars because they really nail these two. Even the Sinatra, it's really good for candy vapors. So give it a try and let me know what you think. Alright, okay, so how about the root beer? Root beer. Root beer, yeah. root beer line. Line. The root beer line. Well, yeah, there's a lot, lots of ideas mm. there. Uh, root beer line, I, was, uh, I wouldn't say I wasn't disappointed because when you think about root beer, you think of an ice cold mug of that fizzy root beer taste. Yeah, and then it's based with the lime. Uh, with this, they really kicked it off uh, great with the lime. The lime flavor and the juice is really good. Uh, but the root beer wise is a little bit on the lighter side and there's no sensation of the, you know, the cooling feeling. So that's missing out a little for me. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So any of these flavors, okay, overall or any of this lineup have any like um, worth money buy? <laughs> any of this lineup, I would say um, this is the worth money buy. The yeah. Yeah, the pinky strawberry. This is good. Okay. So, how about this? For, for me. Uh, I go back to Sinatra. Alright, okay guys. Pink Stone E juice. Strawberry Pinky Strawberry and Sinatra will get the worth money buy. So when you go to stores, when you look at this box, don't think, just buy. Yeah. Alright? Just buy. Okay, just, buy just buy it. Just buy it. Yeah, just buy it. Okay guys? You're gonna love it. Alright. Okay, thank you to Said and Hazik. So we will meet them again next soon. So do follow our Instagram and our Facebook page. The Duo TV dot my. And our YouTube channel. Do the subscribe. The Duo right. TV my. Okay, guys. Bye. All right. Bye. Take care. Take care. Bye.